Inside this tube are a small army of ants waiting to get out and explore. And my goal in this video is to raise these ants and watch them build an empire from this little tube. We'll watch them explore, hunt other predators, fight each other to the death, and even go underground to watch them raise their young. I got a message asking if I wanted some ants. Now you know me, I'll never say no to some new pets. So after taking a look online at Ants HQ, they sent me out some ants and some high-tech underground nests that you'll see later on. And this is what I'm working with, a single ant tube full of an ant army. Now, if we take a closer look, we can see there's already loads of eggs and ants working to protect the queen. Now we can't keep the ants in here forever. So to help the ants, I have this arena. This arena isn't good long term, but for hunting and gathering supplies, this will be great for them. I then put some sand in it, but not too much as I don't want them to dig much in this area. Once I put the sand down, it was then time to connect the tube to the ant nest. Now doing this was pretty scary as these ants are actually really fast and I didn't want any to escape. After connecting the tube, the first brave ant took one giant step for ant kind and slowly checked out the area. Once he touched down, an army of ants followed him into the arena. They started to slowly but surely explore together to make sure it was safe before allowing any more ants to come. Now to help them make sure it was safe and to give them something to drink, I placed down some honey. This is super beneficial to them and will help them grow the massive ant colony that they're trying to build. One of the ants went up to the honey, checked out what it was, and then ran all the way back to the nest where the queen was to report his findings and to tell the others that there's something very sweet and yummy here. About two minutes later, all of the ants started to pile around the honey to collect it for the nest. I also put down this fruit gel to give them some variety, but they didn't really seem to be interested in it. And for some reason, one of the ants fell over and genuinely couldn't get back up and used himself as a ramp for the other ants to get up and down into the tube. This was really weird to watch. After a few days, I wanted to test the ants with some live prey to see how they would react to it. So for this, I'm just gonna use a single fruit fly. After placing it into the arena, one of the ants was interested to see what just entered their new home and inspected it but the fly managed to climb away just in time. The fly then fell down and the ant started to attack the fly. A fight was about to break out between the ant and the fly. As the fly escaped, backup had arrived from the nest. The ant went back over to the fly, but the fly had managed to escape again. About five minutes later, the flying ants crossed paths and out of nowhere, he attacked the fly and started to take it down. This was an all out brawl between the fly and the ant. After collecting the fly, he then took it back to the tube to deliver it straight to the nest for the queen to give her more strength and making more eggs for the army. On day 7, things were getting out of control. The army was expanding a lot, food was running out, and eggs were being placed along the tubes as they were running out of space. And if we take a closer look into their nest, we can see that it's cramped full of eggs about to hatch. They need a bigger space and they needed it fast. So a few days later, I decided to cover up the ant nest as they prefer complete darkness in their nest. And when I took the cover off, it revealed a much bigger army. So let's give them the upgrade they need. I moved the ants to the side and it was time to get their new home. Now this is not only huge, but it also has an underground section for the nest and also lights up, meaning we can see what's going on underground. Now I wasn't going to let them get into their home the easy way. Waiting for them in the new nest will be a challenge. If they want to get into this new nest, well, they have to get through this bug first. Now it won't be easy, as this bug is really fast and pretty big. I then connected a tube from their new nest to their old nest and waited to see how they would react. 
and almost instantly ants started to pile through the tube to their new nest, not knowing the danger they were about to be put into. One of the ants got to the entrance of the new nest and noticed the intruder waiting for them and backed away slowly. And before I could even record this part, the bug went flying down the tube straight into their main nest. The bug started to panic and run around the nest trying to figure out the situation he was in, while the ants also were trying to understand what just came into their nest. The ants started to attack the bug but couldn't understand how to take it down as it was a lot faster and stronger. Eventually, the ants got the bug into a corner and started to attack it all together. The bug tried its best to escape the ants, but the ants were just too strong. Eventually, the ants managed to pick up the bug, take it to their first nest, where it was never seen again. This was an insane fight but they have a much bigger challenge in the next few days. As night fell, the lights from the caves turned on, revealing its true nest potential. While the rest of the ants were feeding off of the massive bug they just caught, one lone ant went out to explore the deserted underground caves to see if it was suitable for the colony and the queen. And later that night, what happened next shocked me. They had all started to move into the new nest and started prepping the nest for the queen's arrival. They started to pile all the eggs into the corner of the nest. This is where every ant will now be born. They finally had a full underground ant farm ready to become an empire. Over the next few days, I checked the ants new place and something was wrong. The ants were missing. I checked the arena and there was only one single ant in there. I then checked the first nest and there was nothing there either. It wasn't until I looked underground that I saw this. They had built an empire. You can see in some of the corners of the nest, loads of eggs were being piled up into the back. And on the right side of the nest, even more eggs were being placed. The ant colony was about to boom, but with new victories comes new challenges. And I thought it was time to introduce something big. Now this next challenge, I had no idea if they would be able to defeat it. As it's probably four times the size of an ant and can easily bite back and kill the ants but it's a challenge for a reason, and if they do it, they'll be eaten like kings. Their next challenge was a cricket. It's fast and strong, so let's see how they'll react. A few ants noticed the cricket, but didn't really care. After a few minutes, the ant gained some confidence and started to attack the cricket. Now what they done next actually shocked me. The ants started to pounce on top of the cricket one by one slowly gaining strength over the cricket. The ants used all their strength and actually pulled the cricket into the hole of their nest. The cricket was getting pulled to his death. This was crazy to watch. And once I took a look underground, the ants slowly started to bite the cricket. Loads of ants started to climb over the cricket and slowly rip him apart while being fully alive. The ants couldn't believe the meal they had just found. Slowly but surely, they all started to swarm around the cricket, taking a piece out of the cricket for themselves. And it wasn't long before the cricket had died, and the ants had a massive meal ready for the nest. But, as the days went on, food was starting to become scarce. Fighting started to happen between the ants. We were about to witness an ant rebellion within its own colony. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by liking the video. And if you don't want to miss more like this, then subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.